Good morning, everybody. Accidentally hit the live button there. Wasn't ready to go live. I didn't put my caption in yet. And I already went live. Good morning, Christy. Um, I wanted to talk about something this morning. Uh, I know I struggle with. Good morning, Rob. Carrie, how are you? And it's focus. And um, I, I, I'm a pretty charismatic, um, God, that sounds terrible, but I, I, I believe that I am um, an entrepreneurial person. So one of the things that is really, really tough for me is saying no. <clears throat> so I have a tendency to always be aware of things that are going on around me and good ideas and opportunities pop up all the time. So as an, you know, entrepreneur or, you know, just a person that, uh, you know, likes to, 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 to be, um, you know, aware of their surroundings, it becomes very challenging for us to, to stay focused. And we end up moving in 10 different directions at 10 different times. And it may seem like to us at the time that we're being extremely productive. However, normally what happens is when we're not focused, we end up being um, very average in the 10 or 12 things that we're working on. And if you look at, I'm reading a, 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 my goodness, I was reading a book um, today and it talks about focus and it specifically talks about um, work that they did with some of the larger companies in the history of the world uh, that were the most profitable, um, Apple being one of them. And this company was consulting for one of Apple's competitors and Apple's was, was, was passionate about only working on one thing, this, this iPhone, iPad, um, technology, right? And then they leveraged a couple things off of that, but really everything for Apple started and stopped with the iPhone. They tied iTunes into it. Everything they did revolved around the, the, the iPhone. And they made one phone, they made it the best. Depends who you ask, some people think Android, but non nonetheless, the argument could be made that the iPhone's the, the, the best phone in the world and has been for um, you know a decade or more. And this person was consulting with another phone manufacturer and they were like, man, it doesn't make any sense. We make 40 phones and our profits are a fraction of what Apple makes and Apple only makes one. And this particular consultant who, you know, it's, it's the four disciplines of execution. And the first one is focus. And the point was exactly what this person had said is they were working on 40 different things and were far less successful than the person that was working on one. So this is really tough because we feel like if we turn away an opportunity uh, or we say no to a good idea or even a great idea, that we're passing up the opportunity to um, make more money, we're passing up the opportunity to grow as a professional, we may be passing up the opportunity to grow as a person. But there is nothing more productive than focus. Um, I can tell you, you know, over the course of the last six months or so, I've read four books or so about leadership and business development and, you know, um, all kinds of stuff, efficiency, um, solid business practices, all of that good stuff. And every single one at some point talks about the importance of laser focus. And the only way that you get focus is by saying no, like you, you literally have to um, reduce your, your, uh, you know, area of focus down to the, 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 the four or five things at most that you feel will move the needle, sort of speak the most. So for example, like if you, um, they say to not start, you don't want to start a focus conversation with what's most important because depending on the timing, um, certain things become a priority because it's an emergency or there's urgent or, um, you know, the, the current state of affairs um, requires it to be a priority. And you're always going to have to have the ability to be nimble and, you know, in small doses, shift your focus as needed for an emergency. But here's the reality. When you set your goals, in order to have focus, you want to put the most important 
wildly, I mean, like it's called a wig. It's called a wildly important goal. So how do you define what that is? How, how do you ensure that your focus on these goals won't cost you good opportunities. You make them the most important things. You make them the the the, the things that so that I, I was talking about. Um, I'm all over the place. I'm all I worked out this morning. My head's racing. But we talked about New Year's resolutions. I think the biggest problem is most people have five, six, seven New York or New Year's resolutions. So if you and and that's one of the things that fail because if you try and stop smoking, stop drinking, stop lying, stop cheating, stop eating junk food, exercising, and being a better uh, you know <laughs> person at work or, or or whatever, you can't be seven things at one time. So you know one of the things I think that would help people with New Year's resolutions or just you know um, their uh, willingness to want to make a change is start with like three. And then how do you choose those three? Choose the three that will have the biggest impact if, if everything else stayed as it was. So, you know, if you if you smoke and you want to exercise and change your eating, um, I would tell you stopping smoking would have the biggest impact. Because if you stop smoking, you're going to be better at exercising. Um, so when you look at the three or four things and you're trying to figure out how to get focused, choose the, 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 the one, two, three things that are going to have the biggest impact on your life. And then focus on those. And then when other things come along, it'll be much easier for you to say no if they don't support that goal. So that's how you decide what to say yes to and what to say no to. When new opportunities present themselves, it's a no. You have to stay focused. When something new comes along, if it does not support your top three goals, then you have to say no. Otherwise, you, you, you lack focus. If you lack focus, you lack clarity. If you lack clarity, you lack results. If you lack results, at the end of the day, you're going you're gonna to end up giving up, quitting, or, or failing. So focus, um, it, you know, people say sometimes don't put all your eggs in one basket. And a lot of times um, I feel like, and I've done this before, I'll work like four or five things. That way, if the one doesn't quite work out, I have a backup plan. And then if I fail um, that one thing, um, I could still say that I did my best because I was doing four or five different things. Well, if your goal is to look like you're working hard, that's, that's, that's a broken approach to begin with. Your focus and your goal should be to, to, to accomplish what you set out to do because it's really important. That's the only way it should make it to a goal. It's the only way it should make it to a focus. So get focused, say no. And you're gonna have to say no to good and great things. If it does not support your big goals, you have to say no, you have to stay focused. Without focus, you become average. And with average results, most times we, we, we quit because we, we believe that it's not working. And most often it's not working because of a lack of focus, not because of the, the diet doesn't work, not because working out doesn't help you lose weight, not because quitting smoking is impossible. We fail because we lack focus. So get focused, learn how to say no. It's tough, but the easiest way for you to be disciplined to say no to things when they come along is identify what your three biggest goals are. And then if, if something comes along and it does not support one of your three biggest goals, then you have to stay, you have to say no. That'll give you focus. Say no, do less, put all your eggs in one basket, and with focus, you'll get better results. I hope you guys have a great day. Love you.